I should have done this a long time ago. So, here we go. This isn't really an AK versus M4 thing. And I know, I know, I know, don't shut off the video just yet. This is a uh, version 2 versus, versus version 3 gearbox uh, thingamabob. And here goes, all I need to know. And keep in mind that these are the same size, right? The gears are the same, they're the same gears. Um, <coughs> You know, there's, there's, there's no metal there. Is this shit right here? You know, wires inside of the fucking gearbox. This shit is, is reinforced. There's no metal there. There's metal there. That's why this shit's prone to cracking. It's just, it's too fucking weak right there. This shit can take uh, M150s without breaking. This shit can take uh, M100s with breaking. And I'm talking pot metal, not steel. That version 3 doesn't need to be made out of any other material than pot metal. Uh, when it comes to SEMA, any like non JG or Lancer Tactical. I don't know anything about Lancer Tactical. And I know there's going to be people out there that go like, Oh, you could get a modified shell. Well, uh, fuck you. That's why. That's why fuck you. 11.99. It's probably like 10 bucks shipping. Uh, I don't know. This shit's cheap. And th this will outlast every fucking version 2 that there is, alright? It, it just will. Just just by design, any non-steel version 2 will not outlast this. If, you're, if your version 2 is made out of pot metal, no chance. And if, oh look, I want to upgrade to a steel gearbox shell. I'm going to get a steel version 2. Well, there you go. You're down 90 bucks. It's and it's gonna do the same thing as this. This thing isn't gonna break. It just it's just not gonna break. It's a fact. It's just not gonna break ever. It it just won't. It's just not. It just by fucking design. This will not break. So why are you getting a steel version two for 150 bucks or some shit? What is this? All well, things go for like stupid prices. What is this? The steel, I, I can't even fucking find steel. I'm looking for it. I don't know where I should at. It's aluminum. This is aluminum. <laughs> Who the hell would buy that? It's so gay. That is so fucking gay. You just have a pot metal version 3 and it does the same thing. You know? Forgot to say, oh yeah, it's got a, it's got motor mounts and shit. The only problem I have is the trigger assembly. We can fix that. It's called using a different spring, which is stupidly hard to find. I would agree. It, it, it is really hard to find a spring that goes around that thing, you know. But once you get a weaker spring, it's it's just going to be better than that because it's like fucking three parts. It's a spring, this thing right here, and the trigger itself. It even pushes into that, the whatchamacallit, the contacts and shit. That, you know, no, there's no problems with, with, with this so there's that, and um, the other thing is that it's really definitive with uh, AKs, like what the best brand is, and it's SEMA and ENL. Th those are the the brands that you should buy from. End of fucking story. Oh, I'm gonna get a the real sword. Well, good luck with that. The ENLs are like they cost like half as much. If you get them from the right source, I don't I don't know if there are any right sources on real swords. All I know is that on Red Dragon Airsoft, no, Red Red Wolf, Red Wolf Airsoft dot com. Fuck. They they have a PMC for this much, and this piece of shit for that much. And uh, this this does weigh eight and a half pounds though. But eight and a half pounds of love. It doesn't come with a with a mag. This, this thing's a hundred round in mid cap. It's a piece of shit. Don't get it. So you blow two hundred dollars on an airsoft gun. Why? Why did you blow it on something that isn't an ENL? Because this thing will just go up to like two thirty because of the shipping or something. You just use the AK mags you already have, or, or better yet, because most of the year is summer. Uh, you just go over here and you go, oh, SEMA, AK Mag, and oh, looky here, 
Where is this fucking thing? Right, lowest to highest. There you go. Looky here. That's some super cheap ass shit. Fucking 11 bucks for one of these. And these things will last forever if you know how to use them. Uh, I, I will I will put up a guide later on. But uh, this. This right here. You got yourself your, your little AK-74. Fucking 596. 596. One of these is out of stock. Get this black one. Alright. Get this fucking black one. Easy peasy. And I know there's this right here, but... If you actually want to go for a budget gun, check check this out. Check check this out. Let me show you something something cool. There you go. All plastic externals, metal internals, fifty bucks. That's a, that's the cost of a gearbox. Red dot not included. Where's the red dot? I ordered one already. I'm going to do a review on it. I guarantee you, you will not find a deal this good. I don't know all oh, the plastic's going to wobble. Oh, I don't know. You fix that with Loctite. You just Loctite this, this part right here and that part right there. You just Loctite them. Loctite that bit. You know, whatever fucking takedown it is, you just Loctite it. Whatever. This weighs like three, four pounds. And just... Price-wise, this is still a better idea than, you know, one of these or one of those. You know, these pieces of shit. Is that gearbox is better than all of these. Just all of them. This, this will outlast everything you see on this screen, unless it's a version 3. Because I don't really know about the quality of this version 3. Version 12? I don't know if Polar Star engines were some fucking version shit. But on that note, I don't know anything about Polar Stars. Dad, don't ask me about them. There's, there's no fucking info on version 3 versus version 2 Polar Star engines. I don't really think it matters. You shouldn't be dropping your gun because you're an idiot if you do. You just go like, oh, I'm just going to drop it on a fucking rock. There you go. You just broke your gun, you dumbass. doesn't matter what fucking brand it is. SEMA, you fucked something up in there. Yeah, you know, you definitely fucked something up in there. And by SEMA, you fucking something up in there. I mean, you probably broke the gun. That's no gun handles being dropped uh, five feet down onto a rock. Right? It just doesn't happen. It doesn't... Guns surviving that just doesn't fucking happen. And I mean, like, functioning as well as they were previously. And I know this is version 2 versus version 3 thing. Uh, which I already did cover. Uh... Let's get on to the uh, AK versus M4, uh, whatchamacallit. Alright, the magazine catch. This is a lot more reliable than the M4 magazine, whatchamacallit. Especially at this fucking price point. At this price point, 200 bucks, alright? Buying shit for retail or for for uh, like with the coupons or some shit. Uh, you will not get an M4 uh, under, under 100 and fucking 70 bucks that has a... a, a functioning magazine release that won't like have the magazine drop out mid game or some shit all right you need to like modify it and then when you modify it, it's just gonna be really hard to put in as well as being hard to take out which like fixes the problem but it's still garbage the ak mag it just it, i'm sorry man the only malfunction is if you're an idiot and you don't know how to put an ak mag in all right uh, that's when it happens uh fucking takedown doesn't matter it doesn't matter what the takedown is. Uh, to me, AK takedowns, they take a bit more time than M4 takedowns, but I don't care because they're just as reliable. Like, the takedown, is, is, is not, you're not going to fuck up the takedown. You could. I don't know how you could, but you could un some, somehow. God, you'd probably figure it out. Uh, the sights, obviously. The sights... Uh, the AK sight picture is better than, than uh, like, pinholes. Like, the fucking leaf sight is better than pinhole sight. The pinhole sight, um, if it gets dark or, like, you're under shade or something, uh, it's it's not as accurate. It, it just isn't because it kind of, the, 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 the dark part of the uh, the rear sight, you know, the pin, just the, the actual pinhole part of it, uh, it will blend into the background if your background is dark. 
And you, with AK sights, you could just paint them. You paint the front sight red and the rear sight white. Or you could just paint them both white. I don't mean like the whole thing. You just have a little square thing. It takes a bit of craftsmanship. I did it. Yeah. Motor is mounted to the uh, gearbox as well. Yeah. The fire selector, it's it's not worse than, than an M4 one. I'm mean, sure you have to stop shooting to do to do it, but you can't be shooting while you move the fire selector. I, I don't I don't know what happens. I don't want to figure out what happens. I don't want anyone to figure out what happens. Your gun could fucking explode, for all I know. Whatever. Barrel length, forged 55 millimeters. And if you don't want a forged 55 millimeter one, you get one of these, and this is like the M4 length. Oh, that's not good enough for you. Oh, you get a 74U. It's still cheap as fuck. Uh, magazines. You're supposed to be using high caps. Just, just use a high cap. Why? Why do you have a fucking plate carrier? You just you, you moron. Why do you own a plate carrier? That is the dumbest thing I've ever fucking seen. Oh, I'm gonna stick 50 mid caps on me. Ooh, it's 80. It's it's 100 degrees. I'm gonna run around wearing a fucking plate carrier. Ooh, it's it's not smart. It is not smart at all. You have one high cap. Holding 600 rounds and it will last you the whole day. You don't need you don't need to bring BBs, unless you have like cheaters and you're you like shooting the crap out of them or something, or you're being a support gunner or something. And you just bring two high two AK high caps. They they're the most high capacity magazine there is that isn't uh, on like a garbage gun, like a, like a scorpion. Like a scorpions they have higher capacity high caps, but the scorpions are garbage. They break. They're not as good as an AK. The hop up unit. Uh, for all I know, stock D boys uh, version two the M forward hop up unit things they fucking suck. They they break all the time. They, they just do. I I got my D boys M sixteen for my dad. Uh, he wanted M sixteen because I I don't know. I, I informed him about this stuff and he's like, no, I need M sixteen. And we got an M sixteen anyways. It was a hundred bucks. Whatever. Great deal actually. On an M4, obviously, I, I, I had an RPK for 100 bucks as well. Who we could have just gotten two RPKs? But he's like, no, I'm getting M16. Uh. Uh, basically, I broke uh, within, uh, what was it, like two days? Three days? Somewhere like two or three days of using it. It just broke. Like, I was just, like, adjusting the hop up one day. We had it. We didn't fuck with it. We just had it in the fucking box. We were fucking with the other shit that came. And just. One day I was just like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do use the top up, you know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, have it not shoot a hundred feet, make it shoot two hundred feet, cause you you turn the hop up on. And the fucking thing popped off. The the gear it, it just broke. It's clear. Don't 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 buy D boys M16s. Don't do it. They're bad. I got an aftermarket one. I still fucking hate it. It's garbage. Not as good as a, as, a, as an AK one, cause it's it's got like a thing. There's a thing. There's just things with it. But I, 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 they just, they fucking, they kill me. They fucking kill me. All right. Uh, stocks. Folding stock beats the shit out of adjustable stock. And if you need an adjustable stock, what are you looking at? What are you looking at right here? What, what, what is this gun? Huh? Huh? An AK-104 PMC? Is that, is that, was that the gun you're looking at? Oh, it has an adjustable stock. Did you know that? Yeah, we have AKs with adjustable stocks. Now shut up. Oh, oh, on the case of, on the subject of uh, garbage polymer, um, AKs can have rails too. It's called Krebs AKs, or like other shit. Fuck. It's fucking fly on my screen. Fuck! Shit, I didn't catch it. Um, yeah. Now, in tech work, I, you could probably say the M4 is better. You could, I don't know, I mean... You feel like if you're, I mean, stuffing wires is better than a trigger assembly thing, but um, I, I never actually worked on it on a version 2 gearbox. Not once. I just see pictures of them. I have an M4, not for the M16, I still have it. I'm going to sell it eventually. I don't want to be around them either. They, they suck. Um, there's some weird takedown thing with the D Boys M16, which I'm really not a fan of. Because I, I fucking, we fucked up two springs already with the, uh, this part right here. See that, the, the, the bolt, the bolt. I pulled the bolt back while I was taking it apart. Like, like a total idiot and I 
pulled the fucking spring. I just pulled it, the whole spring, and just I fucked it. I had to fix it the second time. But, um, yeah. The only issue I could possibly find is that if you have a degenerative, like, weird, like, bone disorder thing, which you shouldn't be playing airsoft if you have a, like, not bone disorder, a muscle disorder, like the thing Stephen Hawking has. ALS, yeah. If you have ALS or something, if you can't carry a seven and a half pound gun, eight and a half pound gun, you can't do that, and you need a five and five pound gun or something, uh, why are you playing airsoft? Really, why are you playing airsoft? I, I highly doubt you can wind a magazine. If, you, if you're really that fucked, I'm pretty sure your finger strength is not that much. I highly doubt you can lift a gun and aim down the sights. I mean, you could try. There's probably like a field for people with ALS somewhere. I don't know. So, I, mean, I don't know. I but still have an version 3 is better, so you could just buy a 74U. Probably a Lancer Tactical 74U. Stick a SEMA gearbox in there or just use a stock Lancer Tactical one. Wait till it breaks. You know, that shit. Those things weigh like 3 pounds. Get a lipo in there. It weighs like 3 to 3.2 pounds. It's ridiculous. You just one hand that thing. Now, I, I forgot this other point. Uh, M4 magazines, for some stupid reason, are a million times more durable than AK magazines. They just, they just are. That's just like a weird law of nature. They're just more durable. Not because all oh, they're made out of metal. Uh, the, the high caps is uh, high caps. What I'm talking about. The high caps. Um, people have had them fucking wound up, like just all the way wound up for like a week or so, and they don't they don't budge. They're perfectly fine afterwards. It's just fine. It's just random fucking high caps. They're all, they're all amazing. We don't hold as much as an AK high cap, and you know it's 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 gonna last just as long because an M4 one, if you pamper your AK high cap, because it's, it's just a different way to do it. You know you can't wind until you can't stop winding. You just wind a bit. That's what you're supposed to do. You just wind a bit. You know learn to control your fire using point two eights. Fly hop your shit. Great stuff. But uh, so so we're over the M4 versus AK thing now. Uh, other stuff, it's it's subjective. It, it most of it's subjective. Uh, it really depends on your model and stuff. So I, I'm not gonna get into it. Like, oh, AKs are more pointable. So are G and G combat machines because they they have the the fore grip. Uh, yeah, the the front the forward grip is uh it's farther back and the barrel sticks out more. I mean, it's got more barrel than a uh, fore grip, and that's why it's more pointable. So you can actually see where your fucking barrel's at. Instead of having like a thing in front of it, you actually have a quite a bit of variety with uh, version three gearboxes. You can get MP40s, G36s, uh, FAL 6552s, uh, OGs. If you're interested in their awful quality, you, you can you can get them. They're pieces of shit, but you can get them. Uh, SVDs have them, as far as I know. Uh, Galil's uh, fucking. Yeah, I think that's... Oh, Spectres. Spectre M4s. And not like M4 as an M4A1. Like, it's called a Spectre M4. Those have version 3 gearboxes for some very strange reason. I do not understand. Uh, MP5s have them, too. And, uh... Yeah. Those are... Those are all the guns I have them, uh, as far as I know. And, uh... Yeah. There's, there's some other things. Shit. Uh, I'm really unsure about G36s. I don't know much about them. All I know is that they're hop-ups. People always have problems with them. Uh, they're blocky. They don't have like a barrel that comes out unless it's like an SLR or some shit. Uh, JG makes like modern ones. Like like shit that's not from 2005 like SEMA. Because SEMA has a CMO one one, which is the G36. They don't have anything other than that. They don't have a uh, modern G36 made in like 2009. Their most fucking modern thing they have is probably like maybe their 552 or their 048. I don't know. There just aren't really many flaws in the 48. And by that I mean there just aren't any flaws in it, other than like the method of delivering the uh, stuff. You know, it's stuff that it has problems every airsoft gun has. That's what I mean.
The only fallout it has is that it's not a polar star. There we go. <laughs> and um, basically, uh, CMA has it, it, yeah it has a the O one one and JG has like this other shit, you know. And I don't know which one's better. SEMA makes a fucking amazing guns, and the 001 sh should have the same gearbox as the 028, basically. So, maybe you could get it, but like, I don't, I don't recommend keeping it all stock. Just, uh, just replace the gearbox with something better. Just, just do it, because I, I don't trust, uh, 2005 SEMA quality. I just, I just don't. I'm sorry. 2004, 2005. That's just not the golden age of airsoft guns. I mean, it's when it started. Uh, 07, 08, 09, that was, that was when the best airsoft guns were made. SEMA invented the 048 in 2007. And that's like the fucking gold standard for today. You know, we haven't gotten past the 048. We, we just haven't. It is too good of a gun for its price range. It's too good of a gun for its, uh, its fucking quality. It's too good of a gun just everything man it's it's just it's amazing you know and it's only slightly better than an 036 which was a fucking 0607 gun and the uh the the, the problem with the uh JGT36 is that it um i mean it's not like a problem with it it's just like a rumor that's going around and certain shit uh it it's, it's people say that that their version 3's crack you know and that's that's some weird shit. That is some really weird shit. I didn't really do any research into it. Uh, I don't know, but that's that's a turn off for me. I don't care if it's a rumor. It's just a turn off. And that's because uh, there's no data on airsoft guns. Like you could probably find like someone's personal experience on some shit, but um, it, it's there's no data on it. It just isn't. There's data on barrels and shit. There's data on BBs. Right, that's shit that people they, they did they did that, you know. But like durability tests between a version three, uh, a, a SEMA and a version three uh, JG, and it never happened, just didn't. So I don't know, man. Maybe you can get a JG version, a, a JG G thirty six, if if you just fucking balls out and you're like, oh, I don't care about pointing things, uh, stuff and stuff things, uh, whatever preferences. Then whatever, do it. Let's see how it works. Cause I, I don't, I still don't trust JGs.